I want to thank everybody for coming tonight to our wonderful show, which is called Diversity and Divinity. And we are having just a wonderful first Thursday here in Stewart. And I have the honor to introduce our divinity part of our show, Carol Kapp. Carol is a well-known artist in Stewart. She does absolutely wonderful work. She's a teacher, an educator, and uh, she has really done so much work with many aspiring artists. And she has done a project. I think when you walked in, you probably noticed a very beautiful piece, which is right in front of Osceola 32. And this is Carol's creation. This is part of a series called The Holy, Fa the Holy Family, which is going to be shown at St. Martin's Church in Jensen Beach. And I want her to just tell you a little bit about the history of this, which has been many years in the making. And we're so honored to have you here tonight. This is a painting from um, the Holy Family that will be put up in St. Martin de Porres Catholic Church in the cupola, which is about 19 feet above the altar. And it's a series of paintings that I've been doing. This is the seventh one. Uh, I have one more to go. There's eight of them that will be uh, in the cupola. Right now the Holy Trinity is there which is three panels and Heavenly Host is there which is one panel and then in February the last four will be going up in the cupola. It's St. Martin, St. Francis, St. Dominic and St. Catherine of Serene. So this project has been going on since 2006. This is six foot here and there's another three feet that goes below this which is basically clouds and then this whole panel will be nine and a half when it gets done and this I started in the summer about I think in July and I finished it just um, the end of November right in November sometime so that's how long it took me <laughs> and the I had reference I had a reference for St. Joseph and then I had a reference for the mother and baby, which was another picture that I, most of these were holy cards that I worked from and put it together. So that's how they were done. I think we're very, very lucky tonight that we have the opportunity to share this with Carol and we appreciate it and it's really, it's really beautiful and all of the others I'm sure we can all see. Yeah. So the next time we see them, we know where to go to look at them and thank you. It's beautiful. Hello, uh, my name is Craig. I'm from Jerry's Artorama in West Palm Beach. We are an art supply store. Um, I was just searching around Stewart, uh, just poking around one day and I stumbled into Osceola 32. And uh, I thought it would be a great place for us to kind of introduce ourselves to Stuart. Um, a lot of the artists up here may not know about us just because we're down in West Palm. So just kind of wanted to break the ice. And a great way to do that was uh, to bring up a few products and, uh, and give them away to some lucky person here today to put their business card in. So we're down on Okeechobee Boulevard if you ever want to pay us a visit. And uh, Art Supplies is what we do. And we do workshops and demos and other free events in the store. So you can definitely find us on Facebook or on the web. So we're giving away this neat little box frame. Inside the box frame, you've got uh, Conte crayons, some drawing utensils, a sketchbook, a quill pen, a little bit of, a little bit of everything. <laughs> Dan Fansler. There he is. Yay. On the back of my car, I love it, Dan. He was handing him out. How wonderful. Because he's standing me. Thank you. We want to introduce our mayor. We are so lucky in Stewart to have the wonderful, wonderful Eula here with us tonight, and we're just thrilled to welcome her. Happy New Year and hip hip hooray for Osceola 32. As Rachel said, I am the mayor of the city of Stewart. Stewart is the most beautiful and wonderful city in the whole wide world. And we support the arts in all kinds. We just want to thank everybody for coming out each Thursday or at other times. Please support the artists by buying, by encouraging, by learning the arts, and just participating. This is what we need. This is what makes our city beautiful, some place to remember, some place to come back to, some place to invite your friends to. 
and the arts are making it work. EULA from the time that we opened uh, has been a big, big supporter. She has been loyal and wonderful and you know as a human being we just are happy and nothing could have been more wonderful for all of us in the arts community to have somebody that is really invested, really cares and it's a great thing that happened. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.